Alright, I'm going to make a quick video on how to set, a, set up the dedicated server software for playing on a LAN. First thing we need to do is need to get the software. Log into the website, go to Downloads, Tools, and this one, SWBF Server 1.2, use this one. It's for the 1.2 version of the game. You need to make sure that your game is updated to this version. If you originally bought the game on CDs, you probably have the 1.0 version. If you have it on a DVD, it's probably already the 1.2 version. The way you can tell is if you have Java's Polis as an add-on map, then uh, you have already set it up for 1.2. Alright, so we're going to Go through the install shield, accept the terms, complete installation, and install it. Now, I use Classic Shell on my computer, so it may not look exactly like the standard Windows 10, but it's pretty close. I'm going to pause the video here while this uh, keeps installing. Okay, so that installed. Let's just check. I'm going to go through and look at all programs. LucasArts, and here's the game that I've already installed, and here's the PC dedicated server software. Alright, now at this point I'm going to click on this and see what happens. Brings up this window. From this window what I can do is put in a session name, so it can be like a home game one, something like that. Uh, players, players needed to start the game, hosting bandwidth, we want to make this as big as possible, and if it's a LAN game, we want to select this as a LAN game. Now if I want to select Cloud City, I do that. If I want to change the tickets, I click on that map, and I change the tickets here. So maybe 100 tickets here, and 100 tickets here. And then I can hit Start. It's going to load up the map. We'll see what happens here in a second. There may be some Windows firewall settings we have to adjust. I'm going to pause the video here while it's loading this up. Okay, as promised, there's a firewall issue, so let's go ahead and allow it to communicate on all these things. And there we go. All right, now, if you want to play and host on the same computer, and what you do is you start up Battlefront, you start up my game. Take a moment, uh, let me pause this. Okay, so I actually forgot a step. If you want to run and play on the same computer, first thing you want to do is to start your Battlefront program. Okay, and hopefully that's getting recorded here. Then we want to hit Alt-Tab. Alt-Tab will get us to the desktop. Then we want to start our server software. And start our server up. Now, you're going to have to change the tickets again. And you'll have to do this for each map. We'll let that load up its uh, map here. Now for mod maps, there's a little bit extra work you have to do in order to change the tickets. You have to have something called a, um, a text file, a map info text file. That's discussed on the website. I'm going to pause this here while this map loads. Oh, there it is. Okay, now that the map is loaded up, I'm going to go to my game. It's this one here. And in my game, I'm going to select my profile. Select land. And there it is. Alright, so that all, that's all there is to it. You don't have to do anything weird. 
you can change your tickets directly through the LAN software. Now if you want to play on internet multiplayer you have to do a little bit of extra work. You have to install a couple patches to access the internet master server. Talk about that on the website swbfgamers.com.